Hey there, all of my Libra people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting September 15th, 2024. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what's going on when it comes to your week? Well, for your astro weather, it all starts off on the 17th with our big full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, which is taking place in your sixth house of work, your reputation, life organization, schedule, and lifestyle. And this is creating a three-month window period of major transitions and chapter changes. And a lot of you may find that this eclipse is going to be working really, really hard on getting you out of some kind of personal rut, mainstay, or routine that has actually been capping, not supporting your growth, your evolution, or even your personal prosperity. Now, this can be a time where a lot of you over the course of the next uh, three months decide you want to change roles, change jobs, or get opportunities to break out of a lot of confining lifestyle or community conditions. It may even shake it up so you have to. On the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, we've got the Sun in Virgo forming a beautiful trine to Uranus in Taurus while also creating an opposition to Neptune in Pisces. And so this is about surprise winds coming your way, likely things that could be either coming out of the past or coming to you in secret. These could be secret uh, hookups or secret shortcuts, secret favors, or even some secret bonus monies or work opportunities, but it's going to prompt for you to have to make some difficult decisions about prior commitments that you've made to others as far as obligations that you keep up for them if you are going to be able to get out of your rut and claim them. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Libra, let's see what's up with your tarot traffic. All right, for your earth sector, when it comes to your work, job, and finances, you've got the hanged man upright. So the hangman is the card of a pause, a freeze, or something getting put on hold that has either been in the works or on the table or something that you've been involved in for some time, financially or professionally. But it's actually getting substituted by an alternative. This could be an alternative role, alternative responsibility, or alternative path financially or maybe on the home front. Now, this is a temporary thing that is going on here, but this hold is actually happening for a very good reason. Whatever is getting put on hold does need to be allowed to be put up on a shelf to, so, so it could be reworked into something better when it comes back off that shelf in a short time. This week, though, be prepared. You might be uh, kind of carrying on with plenty of alternatives as we go forward, but it will be a good week. It's like getting a chance to try on uh, the other side of the fence for a while. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Seven of Wands reversed. And the Seven of Wands reversed is indicating this week you might need to be ready to kind of step in with a friend or a relative or an associate that might be um, kind of doing themselves no favors. A lot of the times the Seven of Wands reversed can indicate where a person is going way too hard on a decision or a course of action to be any good. They don't know how to choose their battles. They're overreacting. They're throwing way too much intensity to give in situation. And they actually run the risk of making things worse or making things uh, just bad for themselves in general. This is one of those situations where you got to step in and be like, dude, or hey, or stop, you know, especially when it comes to maybe somebody you do care about who might not be doing what's best for themselves. For your challenge this week, you've got the Page of Swords in reverse. Now, the Page of Swords in reverse is a card of corrections, correcting assumptions, correcting bad math, but also making sure that you don't believe rumors, hearsay, and conjecture wholesale. A lot of misinformation, disinformation, and incomplete information is going to be getting spread around a lot this week, and you might be on kind of both sides of that situation every once in a while. 
don't let yourself get tricked into believing things you shouldn't believe, but also at the same time, don't spread information that's not true. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Four of Cups upright. So this week, love and romance could feel like it's getting a little bit dull, or that there could be a, a bit of a rut that is starting to settle in. A lot of the times with the Four of Cups, it's the car when it's upright, it's all about boredom um, and you know, almost feeling like we're just kind of missing out somewhere. And there could be something going on where you and a partner do have to come to grips and realize there may be something that we are missing out on because we've maybe gotten locked into a routine that is too restrictive. And so see what you can do to shake things up. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, step out of your zone this week. Step out of your bubble this week. The Four of Cups is saying if you don't, you're not really going to have a whole lot change from last week. In fact, the Four of Cups can often indicate an opportunity for us if we decide that we're not going to just kind of repeat what we've been doing this whole time, but we need to be ready to do that. For your advice, your guidance for this week, you've got the star upright. The star card upright is the card of good fortune coming in stages, but we do need to be ready to change directions. And everything about this week so far has been talking about changing directions in some form or fashion. With the star card upright, a lot of good new opportunities, both on the personal and professional front, are here. But they are deviations, right, from maybe your norm or your comfort zone. That's okay. The star card upright says the more you are able to allow yourself to step out of that comfort zone, the more good fortune will come in stages as we go through the rest of the month. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. <laughs>